Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons. When we last left off, we had been trying to the best of our ability to win and then failing miserably. So now we're playing as the Bullet instead, because the Bullet's a fun character. There's our backup money, and by money I mean backup, uh, backup water jug, though we don't in fact need it this time around, which is good. I mean, the bullet's a pretty fun character. I mean, he's he's relatively easy. He doesn't take contact damage. He's got a cool sword that also is a gun. Apparently, it shoots, it's a, a sword that shoots lasers. I mean, how can you not like that? And his, his sword also cancels out enemy bullets. So, there's lots to love, is what I'm getting at here. All right. You know what? I'm, uh, I'm mildly disappointed that we haven't really seen any synergies yet. But um, I'm, I'm sure those will come in time, because there's like a whole bunch of them. So it's just a matter of being patient and, I guess, trying everything. Especially because we're at a point where, you know, all the new content hasn't been meticulously documented yet. So it's all... Oh good, a room where I literally can't in any way take damage whatsoever. That's cool. Ooh, a blue chest. I'll have to keep an eyeball on that. Whoa there. Man, Bullet's pretty powerful too, isn't he? Strong guy. Cool fella. Whoop. We're actually getting a pretty generous amount of money at this early stage of the game, which I like. Because as you can imagine, I like money and I like being able to buy things. And yeah, I mean, it's just generally good. Generally good. I try to look at the bright side of life when I can. Wait for it. She's them around the corner. And she's this guy around the corner. Oh boy. Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't try. Uh... I was actually going to take a swipe at him. The grenade, that is. And that would have been stupid. So, I'm glad I didn't do that. There we are. We'll buy those things. And... Yeah, we'll just keep investigating rooms. That blue chest. I hope it has something cool in it. But if it doesn't, at least we get an opportunity to pick up junk, so... You know. Any opportunity to win... Is a win in my book. So, you know. We've got that going for us. Alright, another blue chest. I think I'm going to hold off on opening any chests until we've seen what all the chests in this level look like. Which is just generally good practice anyway. But sometimes I do have a tendency to get a little overexcited. Whoa boy. Yeah, you see like right here. That's... Explosive rounds. I'm immune to my own explosions, I hope. You know what? Let's, let, let's look into that just to make sure. A small explosive charges to some shots. Originally developed by Gun Dead Miners. Favorite of the Gunsling King. Okay, so... I'm gonna hope... It's, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. How can we have... Also, where, where'd that bonus chest go? The resourceful rat didn't steal it, did he? Oh no, there it is. It's sandwiched in there. Alright. We'll fight the boss. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with all these extra chests. Oh yeah, I've only got the one gun, so... Yeah, just pay attention to what we're doing. Oh hell, stay stay away from me, dog. I 
I didn't need to do that. Feels kind of stupid now, but, you know. I did it. I have to commit. Yes! Managed to avoid taking damage there. Not bad, Gaslight, not bad. I think that was the right choice. Potentially, maybe, possibly, just stay away from him. All right, come on. But yeah. No, no, don't. Not that move. Oh, actually, that wasn't so bad. But as you know, I tend to get very, very scared. I guess is the word to look for. Not even an extra key. All right, so we're. Oh, so we can't even. We once again can't. Oh god, no. no. Yeah, stay back, because sometimes these things explode. So... Wait. Does junk synergize... Oh, it synergizes with the trash cannon. Which makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Ah, oh, boy. Someday we'll get to go back down to the cellars. Well, that was useless. All right, I mean, for the possibility of more junk and at least an extra shield, kind of wish this was a mimic, actually, but it wasn't. Come on, Junkin. It's just regular junk. That's okay. Yeah, so we got, we got the extra health. That's good. Though it resets in between floors, so it's not terribly useful to us. I think, what is it? You get shell casings for hearts now if you're playing as the robot, if memory serves. All right, let's see what the trash cannon does exactly. Oh, sweet merciful god. No, my, my shield. Okay, so it makes the trash cannon basically explodes more. It's more explodey than it was previously, which is which is good. All right. The knowledge that the trash cannon is not trash is comforting to me. That was a waste, I'll admit, but I better, better, I guess, to have taken the damage now. Oh, I didn't even manage to poison him. Dang gummit. Oh, still didn't manage to poison him, because apparently he is unpoisonable. That sucks. Good, good job. Masterfully done. You know what? I hate you. I also hate you. But I hate the Lead Maiden more. There we go. All right. I think we're we're still following in the steps of like taking far too much unnecessary damage, but I'm hoping that though tempting to spend that. Keys and shields, dog, keys and shields. These are the f a few of my favorite thing. Oh god. And I wasted the other one. Good good job. Good job. I am 99% sure that killing these things while they're upgraded doesn't actually do anything for me. Which is a bit unfortunate. You know, there's like no uh, special special prize for killing them while they're extra hard and crispy, but it's all it's all good. So what oh I wonder if the uh now I bet that undead lich thing can't do anything for us if we're the robot, but maybe he can. No, but whatever he does, it has something to do with our health. All right, that's uh, unnecessary at this time. Eh, it's a challenge room. I, I can dig it. Wait, the music changed. Did I, did I find the secret room by accident? No. Plus, it also doesn't really make sense for that to have happened, anyway. 
Yeah, release a little bit of poison into the corners. Maybe it'll help us. In some fashion. Oh, it's you again. And there's there's that. Good good job, Gaslight. And all, all that for a blue chest that the stupid rat. I'm willing to bet that actually does something. We just need to We just need to figure out how to do something with it. Which will be cool once we figure that thing out. Until then, though, we're at a bit of a bit of an awkward position here. Come on. At least, at least, blasphemy is very strong. That's that's something. And if I could just stop taking damage, that would also be something. So, though, it does occur to me. Ah, oh, dang it, I broke that before I had a chance to get the curse. Because I like having a decent amount of curse on hand. And I'm not quite sure how much just having Blasphemy gives us, but a little bit more curse means a little bit more money, and a little bit more money means a better survivability for us. Oh, and he's dead. Good for you. Goodbye, friendo. Nice. Whoop. Oh, Whoop. Oh. Roll past that. That was needlessly risky, but, you know, that's how old gaming by gaslight rolls. Love being able to save those hearts for later. It's on a perf- I was gonna say for a second, is that like a super big table? But no, it's just two tables next to each other. What would a double-sized table even do, I wonder? If such a thing were to exist... No! Alright, that was... Scary. Ah, it's just a brown chest. But then again, there could be stuff in brown chests, but... I think I'm just gonna blow it up. Yeah. Because there's always a chance that more junk is gonna equal more power. I kinda wonder if, um, like, just having junk is, like, improves the trash cannon, or if it's a case of, like, every junk we have makes the trash cannon better. I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that it's the latter. Because, you know, that would be incredibly valuable. There we go, just slip around there. Beautiful. Also beautiful. Wait for it. Sneak around the corner. Nicely done, Gaslight. Nicely done. I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but that was pretty impressive. If I do say so myself, and I do. Ho ho. Executioner, you've got nothing on me today. Neither did that ghost, apparently. And oh, it's the Gunsling King. What do you got for me, friend? Oh, using the nail gun. That's that's pretty straightforward. Because all I have to do is, you know, just use the nail gun. I mean, why not make things interesting and say I can't dodge roll with the nail gun? Don't, don't actually do that though, because that would be, that would be too much for me. Well, probably not, but you know, I wouldn't be overly fond of such a maneuver. All right, there we go. Okay, you gave me a curse and this is a new one for me. What does Big Red do? Big boy. Nuclear arms were forbidden by the third interstellar armistice. But as large sections of the Gungeon existed before that accord was signed, it is a bit of a gray area, legally. 
so we can drop nuclear bombs on on our enemies. That's exciting for all the right reasons and probably some of the wrong reasons as well. All right, all righty, righty, idy, idy, oh. Nope. I am tempted. Actually, yeah, I guess I will. Man, how could you even possibly acquire... I mean, it's obviously not intended for you to get that in one... In one playthrough, but I mean, wow. How many runs do you figure we're gonna gonna have to do before we actually... Oh god, it's the Beholster! Oh, he's got a new room type! Call in the bombs! Oh god, what the hell? Something came out of the wall! Okay, I've gotta be honest with you, I, I actually hate this, this weapon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. It's my own fault for not paying attention. I should have I should have tried using Big Boy off camera. Or not off camera. I should have tried using it, you know, at some other point. Rocket powered bullets. Yeah. Okay, let's uh There was something in the wall. That's a new one for me. All right, so beware of the walls. Okay. Dang, I didn't quite get back to full health. I do have more money, though. Do I give that to the rat, or do I buy another hit point? Well, I can't afford it, so... Yeah. I mean, I guess we're kind of trying to just get that back for now, so... All right. I could have done so much better. Yet, I didn't. Oh well. As long as we can, uh... You know, keep the good times rolling here. Which I think we can. Then, uh, yeah. I mean, I just need to get a heart back. And how hard can it possibly be to get one heart back? The answer is not that hard, by the way. It should not be that hard. We can do this. Also, I'll take that. Okay, so I just need to get a full heart container and then we're back in business. Oh good, some shroomers, because we gotta fight these bad boys in order to finish our frightful quest. Okay. Good times, good times. All right. Oh, and what do you know? He just so happens to be selling these things. Oh, and there's a locked door? No, there's uh... You look kind of like Cursula. Yeah, you're an interesting feller there, feller. So we'll have to, we'll have to see what your story is later, you know, assuming I don't die horribly. Which I shouldn't, because I'm not that bad at the game. I'm only mostly bad at the game. Oh, 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 oh! No! Get, get on my face! I mean, I don't even... Oh, he doesn't always... He doesn't always drop ammo, but when he does... Alright, so he can basically, like, just drop a, a number, an assortment, if you will, of useful items. All right. Okay, we're almost back in the back in black here. Or in red, I guess you might say. All right. Where is the Fulu? That's a pretty big explosion. Uh, dog, wh where are you? Okay. And we're still making some sweet money here, so... I can't complain. Life life is good. 
In all honesty, life is good. All right. Yeah, fire solves all problems. That's what Prison Architect taught me. And if fire can't solve your problem, you're not using enough of it. Or maybe you're using too much. It's one or the other. You a mimic? You are not. I mean, and since you're free, I'll just, you know, go ahead and take you. Because that's cool. And... Yeah, you're, you're just an ugly old brown chest, so... Why would I ever, ever take you? I mean, I guess there are reasons to take a brown chest, but... I kind of just want to acquire a whole bunch of, uh, no, I, seeing these rats, and it gets me thinking, there is the resourceful rat, are they connected, oh god, truth is, I don't know, but they might be. And if they're related to the resourceful rat, then they ain't no friends of mine. That's for sure. Oh, and it's Chester again. Winchester, to be precise. I'll play his game. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. Ooh, sweet. Double sweet. All right, it's a green chest, and we've, you know what? I made a mistake there. Do you know what that mistake was? That's right, you clever viewer. It was that I didn't check to make sure it wasn't a mimic before opening it. And that's bad. You know, I mean, I guess that kind of goes without saying, but, uh... I felt it was worth mentioning a second time. Or, like, explicitly mentioning. I don't think there's a reason, necessarily, for killing, uh, this guy like, individually, like, oh, and I walked into a bullet. Good job, Gaslight. Masterfully done. Geniusly accomplished. And only, only the best way. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, it's Cursula. And it's the sixth chamber again. First bullets. I think those work by... Is it that you you either shoot a jammed bullet every now and then, or your damage is affected by your, uh... Oh! You know what? I also just realized. I think the last time, it's probably already been pointed out. But the sixth chamber, it, uh... It basically curse equals coolness when you have it. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna be able to buy the sixth chamber. The question becomes, do I want to buy cursed bullets? I won't be able to play Winchester's game, though. I mean, I'd really like the Sixth Chamber, but we'll buy Cursed Bullets. Let's see, what do they do? Yeah, Curse increases damage, so we should be doing considerably more damage now is the takeaway I would like to, you know, like you to take away from that. How much? 35 ducats. All right, and what do you got? If only I could sell my keys. That would be pretty cool. But I can't, so I won't. Let's see here. I don't think... Trash Cannon is a terribly good weapon. Oh, and I, I walked into it. And also, there's a... Oh, my phone's ringing. But we're in the middle of a recording. We can't just leave. Whoa, God, you got really fast all of a sudden there, Jimmy. Jim Bob. All right. Now to cell phone is ringing answer after boss fight. Or after recording, I guess. Okay, I'm just... I'm just taking way too much damage. What happened to me? I, I used to be better than this. I swear. Like, for anyone who is... You know, new. To the channel and, like, this is your first experience with me, I swear. I used to be better at the game than this. But apparently, somewhere along the way, I just, you know, stopped being good. It happens. We all get old. Hello there, friendo. 
It's been quite some time since I've seen anyone down here. Well, thanks very much for letting me out of this dreary place. Once I get a little bit of my strength back, I should be able to help you out quite a bit. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. How will you help me? Oh, I'm not much for big gatherings. I'll stay down here. But we'll see each other from time to time, I think. Okay, so you're probably like a new shopkeeper or something. Got ya. Also, I don't have enough money to buy anything, so... Down we go. It's actually kind of funny in a way how we managed to restore most of our... Most of our health. Uh, despite, like, horribly, horribly sucking. So that's good. And if we actually do pull out a win in this, I will be rather impressed. Mostly with myself. You know, because that would be, it would be good. Very, very good indeed. And also, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take a quick break here. Uh, not in the episode. I'm just going to pause. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. We are back. Oh, hell no. Not Shellington. Oh, oh, oh. Why, why would I leave my safety and security for this? I don't know, is the answer. But, we are, we're, we're still alive. That's the important part, and we've got good stuff happening, mostly. How can you keep summoning more people? How many waves must a man fight before he's finally free? That's my question at this particular juncture. All right, if you could, if you would kindly die, that'd be nice. And we're out of ammo. You know, the trash cannon would be so useful if I had that item that made me immune to poison. Oh, that was a really bad case of tunnel vision there. I was, I don't know how I avoided all those shots. I literally walked into them and I wasn't even looking where I was going. Like, that's just bad gameplay right there. The important thing to take away from this is that I know that I'm bad. I just need to work on not being bad. We'll get there. We'll get there. Of course, I guess I can't be that bad. I'm, you know, I have, uh, I've beat the game a couple of times. Oh, no, you don't. Or, yes, you do, I guess. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Okay. That was... That was less good. There's, there's really no need for me to kill that thing, but I like doing it anyway. Because I can, really. Though these things can't hurt me either, apparently. Nicely done. I don't think these things can hurt me. Yeah, anything that only does contact damage I shouldn't be afraid of. So, there's that. Might just be me, but I'm also feeling like I'm not getting a lot of ammo drops these days. Oh no. Well, that was easy. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and okay, that's what we want now. You know what? I do think this uh, Void Core Assault Rifle has been doing a lot of damage and a lot of good work for us, so I think we're going to stick with it. Ooh. Who would be a good boss with where we're at right now? That's a good question. Oh, wait, you know why we're doing so much damage? It's because we've got so much curse. That's why. Good job, Gaslight. Masterfully done. Execute it with impunity. You know, except for all those times where there was no impunity whatsoever. 
But we don't we don't focus on those times. Man, we've got so much money. Oh, you silly goose. You froze yourself with your general silliness. You know, I could could just fire some nukes over there. That would also be a a worthy opportunity. You know, I'm going to use this this crossbow here. I mean, to be honest, I could probably just use my... Yeah, I could just use Blasphemy, and that would probably do just fine. And let's see here. All right. That worked out. That was a nice plan. Bit of a shame that poison didn't last as long as I might have liked, though. I mean, the fact that I can basically kill all enemies with uh, just one volley. At least all the regular enemies, that is. That's good. Life is but a dream right now. A dream where we are hanging in the balance. Very precariously, I might... Oh, hell no. No, not you again! It's not time! Oh, he can get poisoned. Get poisoned, son. Wasting all my ammo like this. Oh, and he's dead. Alright, so that was actually, ultimately, a, uh, a massive win for the proletariat. Oh, hell. How did I know you were a mimic? I just did. And we, you know what? We've got too many. I need unity now. That's what we need. A mustache? Now, what good is a mustache? We've had we've had this before. I think it makes stuff cheaper. Chance to heal when money is spent. Ah, I'll be honest. That's not not exactly a a terribly exciting weapon to have or thing to have. But it's not it's not bad either. So I should not uh, should not speak ill of such a fine and upstanding young. Young weapon. All right, it's the hammer. It's not a terrible weapon. Oh wait, wait, wait. We had was it last time we had like some hammer gun? I was remember thinking to myself, whoa oh, boy. Oh, this is like the worst, the worst possible place to have all those shotgun enemies, and yet, oh, gun knight armor. A secret there. Oh, and I can drop all my unwanted guns and stuff for money. Money, dear boy. All right. I mean, uh, it, it's F to drop guns, right? Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So we'll drop F. Um, let's see here. Okay, now I guess we don't need unity. I'll drop the demon's head as well. All right, yeah. If I want this, I'd also like to buy this shield, if I may. Oh, and look at that, we're back to full health. Damn, we're good. Good-ish. Good-ish, says I. All right, so now we just need to not take damage and life is great again. Oh, and we can save our ammo by uh, using Blasphemy. Oh yeah, I suppose I didn't necessarily have to sell all those guns. I could have just finished exploring the level. And that would have probably also done the job. Oh, hell. No, no, no. Stay the nine. Hell's away from me, son. What even is this? Pain in the butt is what it is, says I. Oh, I can go back to using Blasphemy. That's an important thing. Yeah. Yeah, because Blasphemy is Im Oh, cool, look at that. Do a little, like, salute thing with when we try to reload. You a mimic? You are not a mimic. And you have 
Chalk rounds. That's a black chest item. Seems kind of underwhelming for a black chest, but all right. I mean, we have so many keys that we're good one way or the other. Okay. I mean, with Curse Bullets and Blasts for me at full power, I think we don't really have anything to worry about. And I say that knowing full well I'm going to proceed to, like, immediately die on this boss fight. You know it to be true. I'm going to use the Void Core for this. Oh, it's the Kill Pillars! Oh, that was a genius move right there. Did I actually take damage on that? Yeah, like... It's like the dumbest thing I could possibly do. No, no, no. I'm not sure if I've actually taken damage yet or not. I think I got hit. Like with poison. Yeah, I, I did. That's unfortunate. But, you know, life goes on and we'll find a way to get over the pain of not getting more health. I feel like I missed something back there. Oh well. Actually, wait, now that I think about it, I was just thinking about the trash cannon and junk. I think it- I think that's not new, it's just that we're now getting, like, graphic cool, uh, confirmation of our synergies. Oh god. Yeah, stay the hell away from me, you, you stupid jar. You satanic jar of... of pain and suffering. Maybe I'm being too hard on him. Um... They're like, why, why can't I, uh, oh, you can't, uh, save for late. oh god, no. No, not the hands! Okay. Daruma. Okay. Oh my god, he sends me all the way back. Did I lose health? Wait. Wait, did he, um, did I just... What's going on here? There's new enemies in this room. I also feel like I have more shields. Oh, from Gun Knight. Oh, I should... Wait, that actually sounds really exploitable. I could get, like, infinite shields with, um... with Gun Knight armor if I just keep letting that hand take me. Because even if it does one damage every time the level restarts, I could also maybe get infinite money? My desire to know more intensifies here. Alright, so, he, okay, so he only shows up once. So, you actually want the hand to grab you. That's interesting. I actually like that, that that's cool. So, I think if I'm understanding that effect correctly, basically it, it, it sets you back at the start of the floor again. So that synergizes really nicely, as we've already established, with having Gun Knight armor. Or any item that gives you, like, free stuff at the start of a floor. Which is, uh, mostly Gun Knight armor, but there's other things. Listen, back off there, gun cultist person thing. Alright, this is actually feeling like a really powerful run. But the question is, do we go down to bullet hell on this run, or do we just, um... Just try to beat the bullets past? And I think the answer to that question is, we just try to beat the past. That feels like the smart play to me. Yeah. I mean, well, then again, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. If we can beat Bullet Hell, then, uh... Yeah, why do I keep worrying about getting hit? Like, I can totally just reflect his bullets back at him, and then that's the end of it. Or I can do something badass like that, so there's also... 
Oh boy. Oh, he's already dead. You're already dead, son. Oh my goodness. This is a you know what, after that last run, I'm actually feeling I'm feeling pretty good about myself right about now. Maybe I don't deserve to feel that good. But, uh, you know, because we haven't actually accomplished anything yet, technically, but at the same time, we have we have accomplished a bit. Did I actually just I don't know if I killed that bullet in one well, it must have been because it was in sword range. I'll admit, the range of uh, my weapon sometimes throws me off a little here. Also, I can't help but notice we're like shooting some kind of blue light. Well, not light, exactly, but like, our color is different. I'm not sure why that is exactly. But it's probably for some cool reason. Alright, I kind of want you to... Come a little closer, blue guy. There we go, that's why I like to see you. Oh, and another one of these. Also, the dragon fight's gonna be really easy, isn't it? Because we'll be able to just, like, just walk through the wave of bullets. Ooh, that was beautiful. We're living in an age of wonders right here. Says I. All right, now there is a part of me that says, do I, do I try pushing my luck if the opportunity presents itself? You a mimic? You are not a mimic. Oh, what's this? A new item. Ah! Baby good mimic. Imitation love. Daruma. What is Daruma? This is a new guy. Imitation love. This abandoned baby mimic misses its siblings and imprints on the first follower it sees. Oh, now you see, this is a time where I really wish I knew, like, what, what does that mean for us exactly? What does a baby mimic do? Does it mimic enemies? Does it, uh, will it eat, like if we let it eat like pickups and stuff, will it give us rewards? These are the questions, man. Wait, where, where, where'd the mimic go? Okay, he's like hanging out, he's derping out in the corner down there. But yeah, what, what does he do? Oh, he's shooting stuff. I am intrigued. Okay, he's uh, going a little crazy here, actually. Whoa, Jimmy. And he's all... Okay, he's like doing all the things to all the people. And I have to say I, I like it. I like it a lot. This is a, this is a good mimic. Whoa, boy. Okay, just, uh... He's a good boy! He's a very good boy. Ah, dang it. Lost a, uh, a thingamajiggy there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm on fire. I am on fire. Okay. But pain is fleeting, so yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, Gaslight, we're not... We're not past the dragon yet. All right. I've got to be honest, the baby mimic is ridiculously good. I don't exactly know what affects it or like what does what to it. All I know is that I like it and I am glad it is part of our crew. What in the nine hells is that? Oh god, it shoots right through the wall. That was a bit of a panic shot there, I'll admit. What are you, like a hyper light cat? Yeah, die. And stuff. And we're still at full health, so... There's not a lot to worry about here. But, again, this is no time to get cocky. All 
All right. Though I'm, I'm trying to understand what set the mimic off, because he he wasn't he didn't start off shooting. You know, like I'm curious, like what made him decide to use this attack? Like, is the attack he's using right now is that his only attack, or? All right, so this is gonna be a gun. We don't really need a gun, but then again, we don't not need a gun. But then again. Having Junkin is probably better than not having Junkin. Also, I just love that Mimic. Little Mimic dude. Ghost bullets! Oh, we're just one bullet short, too. Here's the bullet! I'll take that. Anything else you gotta say? Was there something else? Why are you here? How long ago to make guns for the one who built this place? Powerful wizard, that one. I'm fascinated by firearms, but he needed a smith. So I was experimenting with them, infusing them with magic. Rovers walked with a staff, he strode with a strap. I think he was worried that guns would make the magics of the old world obsolete. In that way, I guess he was right. Then the great bullet hit, and neither I nor my sister ever saw him again. It wasn't too long before others came to investigate what had happened. They quickly realized that visiting this place was a permanent decision. Some people got out early, when the planar lead was abundant, and before the gun dead took hold of this place. The ones who got out spread the word, and the legend of the Gungeon was born. Second chance, right wrongs, riches, fame, a thousand reasons to risk your life. Must have been a tempting proposition to those that heard the tale, or at least to those who believed it. We still aren't sure why the bullet struck, or where it came from. All I know for sure is it was that gun he was working on when it happened. My sister traded for new guns, new artifacts from his study. She's able to get things from outside the Gungeon sometimes. I had this forge, so I got to work. If I could undo anything, it would be to stop the bullet from ever being fired, and then I'd never step foot in here. But that's impossible, I think. Without the bullet, there never would have been the gun. For us who knew this place before, the power of the gun is hollow. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh well. It's a hollow victory. Oh no. Oh yeah, and we can't save our stuff for later. Most unfortunate. Oh, we, wait, we, we actually didn't get a single coin out of that? Oh, that sucks. All right, is there anything I would want to buy? The answer is no, and there's nothing else to explore, so I guess that means it's time to get out of this God's forsaken place. And away we go. Enter dragon. Might as well watch the cutscene, just because it's cool. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if we can actually, uh... Actually, uh, maybe... Ace this fella. And we do seem to be doing good damage. Whoa, boy. Oh, wait. I, I shot too early there. I wasted a... No, I should have just kept attacking. Well, so much for acing him. Good old explosions and nuclear ordnance. Wait, he... Oh, I was gonna say, he's not entering his, like, special phase. Which greatly confused me for a moment there. Alright, I'm still gonna probably want to try dodging this. Oh, wait, the Mimic's actually, uh, providing a perfect shield right there. Come on. We can do this. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to survive at least one more round. Alright, as long as we just stand here... Mimic Baby will protect us. I'll admit, I'm kinda tempted to go on down to... 
There we go. And pop goes his heart. His achy, breaky heart. And we've unlocked Blasphemy for everyone. And Obsidian Shell Casings, which are always cool. Alright, you know what? We're just we're just gonna go fight our past, I think. Oh, it's a little loud in here. Compared to what I remember. Compared to what I remember. You know what? Let's uh change that. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, well. Such is life, I guess. I can always edit it later. All right, shooty McShooty time. Into the past. All right, let's let's get this show on the road, friend. And away we go. Boom, yeah. Nice. All right, now we just need to kill the bullets past, and we are good. I hear the bullets past is actually pretty, uh, pretty. Oh my God, what happened to your head, dog? Oh my younglet, only you can save us. I tried to wield our ancestral weapon, but its design is alien to me. When I aim and fire, it just stabs me in the head. Even though it has lost much of its great power, it is said that it can reflect the magic of that dark wizard. I fear all is lost, but perhaps you can see <laughs> where I, I have missed. Aim true, my. <laughs> all right, and he's, he's dead. Killy Doakley. Oh crap! This thing does not have uh, shooty powers. Oh hell! Oh hell! No! Oh god. It's not the Master Sword. It also kind of sucks, actually. Come on. Well. That was, uh, this is not a promising start. Ooh, a Gun King thingy. So it's you! The bullet person! This spell is almost complete. Soon my quick jaw master arises. Our bullet kin will be slaves to his grandeur. To be fired by his will. I have learned from your undead master, but I am not his kind. The usurper shall soon reign. Turn back now. Return to your chamber and rejoin the rest of your pathetic kind. Or do you think you can stop me? Go ahead. Oh, this is not good. Well. Oh, hell. Oh, I can't even reflect the shots. Wait, I can't even do any damage to this guy, either. Also, my attacks aren't doing any damage. Of course, then again, this is like very obviously like Zelda based, so. Is it a case where I can only attack him? Oh, wait. I got a- oh, I see. I, I, I fight him by reflecting the purple stuff. Alright. I, I think we can, uh... There we go. Oh, that does a pretty nice amount of damage, too. Alright, now that I know what I'm doing... Oh, God. Oh, I'm not gonna survive this, am I? Oh, you clever little sneak. All right. Just just play it safe. Stay away from him. Okay, he's shooting his big balls back at me. Dang it. And I miss. It's like playing Pong. It's not that difficult. Not that difficult. Almost rolled into that like an idiot. Like a scrub. Come on, shoot your balls at me, boy. Oh, God. No! Master! 
It's not that easy, though, is it? Oh, sweet, merciful baby Jeebus. Oh, it's just a hole in the ground. Oh, hello. Hi, friend. Okay. Evil King Cannon. Oh, please tell me you're an easy fight as well. You're not, are you? All right. Okay, I can't just swing back at him. I mean, my big question is, do I attack him? Like, should I be trying to come after him, or...? Oh, dear. That's, uh, that's cool. Oh, come on. Like, I'm, I'm not seeing an opening here. Like, if I have to get close to him in order to attack... Oh, boy. Oh, God. Do I, I actually have to attack him with my bare fists? Okay. All right. This is going to be like the most needlessly difficult fight of all time, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's just a matter of, uh... It's just a matter of, um, you know, taking my time. And, uh, you know, not, uh, not overdoing it. Oh boy. Oh boy. And looking for my opening. This is prob- my opening was probably then. Whoa, boy. Oh, this is gonna- I mean, as long as I'm slow about it and, like, take my time, this actually shouldn't be that difficult. Okay. I'm not gonna survive this, am I? Oh, god, now the floor is collapsing. All right. Not terrible. Just be very slow and steady about it. I mean, it, this is ju it's just like Zelda. You just take your time. Hit them when they, uh, you know, leave an opening. And then you, uh, rip them right up. Okay. Wait until it starts closing in again. And then just, like, one hit at a time. I mean, look, we're making progress. I, I just have no room to screw up at all, so that's mildly unfortunate, but life... Life finds a way to not... To not piss you off too much. Okay, okay could you like a... Uh... Oh, no! Crap. Alright, but at least we're ready for next time. That's the important thing, I think. And Blasphemy has joined the shootout, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.